Hey gang, Chad Madden here, and it's now day three, uh, January 3rd of my heart challenge. So I uh, wanted to share some numbers with you. Um, also, uh, some of the other things that I'm doing. Um, I know uh, somebody had commented, you know, why not just stop eating? Um, oddly, I've been experimenting with uh, intermittent fasting for the last year plus, uh, pretty much knocked out breakfast, and uh, lunch is usually um, like a shake or a bowl of soup something like that. Um, I have a pretty classic uh, avocado and spinach shake that I make uh, for lunch. But anyhow, uh, that's beside the point. I wanted to share some numbers with you here. Um, let me just get this called up for you. And you should be able to see this. So um, here's where we're at. Uh, last night, uh, blood pressure a little elevated again, 143 really odd reading on the uh, uh, diastolics at 60. Hopefully I have that right. I think it's systolic or diastolic. I might be backwards there, but um, nonetheless, had the really high weight reading at 187.8. Uh, BMI was 28.5. Uh, did nothing other than um, drank water and uh, ate a handful of pistachios last night. When I woke up this morning, weighed myself 182.4. Doesn't make any sense to me, um, but uh, nonetheless, that's what it was. Um, blood pressure uh, today, 127 over 89, so moving in the right direction there. BMI less, you can go through the other stuff, body fat percentage, et cetera. Blood glucose was a little high, and I noticed uh, typically, like last night, I only slept uh, four and a quarter hours, um, so not my best effort there, a little short on the sleep. But um, I did today try to go as far as I could without um, uh, eating, like where I would start to feel weird. So just had coffee in the morning, nothing through lunch. Um, actually, over lunch, I uh, did something really reflect, refreshing, went for a one and a half mile walk, um, and then came back to the office, worked until three. Um, and then uh, I had one of those uh, Health Warrior vegan pumpkin seed bars, had one of those. Came home, my wife made a vegetable stir fry, mushroom stir fry, that was awesome. Um, had some hibiscus tea and then we did our uh, juicing, which she's really into. The weird thing is, is like today, even though I didn't have a lot of sleep last night, I have a ton of energy right now. Um, even did another uh, seven minute workout, you can get an app, uh, when you're, I think it's called Wahoo, um, for free, um, at least uh, on your iPhone. But uh, that's a really quick workout. It's a combination of squats and lunges and push-ups and really easy stuff. You basically exercise for 30 seconds and then um, you rest for 10 seconds. So it's kind of a, um, it's like a derivation of, oh, what's that called? A HIT, so high intensity uh, interval training. Um, so put a few other things in here. Um, the Health Warrior, I'll, um, the Nut Bar, the link for that is in here. Um, also the blood glucose testing strips. Somebody asked where I'm getting those. I linked that in. Uh, the one thing that was in um, How Not to Die book is uh, the research be behind hibiscus tea and lowering, naturally lowering um, blood pressure. So uh, there's a pretty good one that I found uh, online uh, that I've been drinking. I actually have some here right now. Pretty cool stuff. And um, I'll provide you a link for that. The other thing is a friend told me about this book. He said, oh, you know, if you're um, looking to improve your health and you're really looking for some motiva motivation, did you read the David Goggins book yet? So that actually came in the mail today. Really excited about that. Um, started reading that already here this evening. So uh, I should get through that in the next day or two. Really excited about that. But uh, everything, I, I feel really good right now. Um, don't have any like uh, chest tightness or anything weird like that. The other thing that I forgot to mention was I did a, uh, Wim Hof breathing here. And really simply, if you're watching this video and you don't know what Wim Hof breathing is, you can go to uh, check it out, but uh, just go on YouTube, how to do Wim Hof breathing. There's a ton of videos on it um, from Wim Hof himself and uh, just something a little different that you can uh, throw in the mix there. So uh, good third day so far. Thanks for all the support and comments. I'll continue to read them and keep up on this and I'm um, finding it really motivating. So thanks for this and I'll see you tomorrow.